Hey everyone, today's mission is to assemble and install a solar attic fan. Um, this is a hot job regardless, it's 95 degrees today, it's very humid. I've got to do two, two steps, both of which are extremely hot. I have to go up over the high roof again, go up there and go down across to that flat roof, which is where we'll be probably mounting the panel. And I have to go in the attic up there as well, which is, is pretty hot. It's very hard to navigate around there, which you'll see when I get up there. It's very confusing. There's insulation. There's no real floor. So you have to kind of feel your way through the insulation. And it's that really, um, that pink itchy stuff. So it's going to be an interesting job. But let's see what we've got. Here's the box. Let me uh, mount the camera on the tripod and we'll see what's in there. pretty big solar panel. I'm not going to be looking forward to dragging that over that roof. I wish there was some way I could get it into the upstairs. Good. It's got a few feet on the cable. Not an incredible amount, but a few feet. So we're going to have to be fairly close. I'm kind of hoping this thing has a few feet. And this is a fan in here. I'm kind of hoping this has a few feet on the cable as well. And it does. Good. 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 Oh, we've got a switch here. So. All right. So it looks like in cooler weather we can switch this thing off. Uh, that's not going to happen because I will not be going up there once this thing is in. It's just too difficult to get where this thing has to be mounted. So we've got I guess I'm going to have to mount it to a corner. I really am not 100% sure how I'm going to mount this thing up there. And I hate to go up there and navigate all the way through it only to have to come back down, but I think that's probably the most likely scenario, unless I just get lucky and I can just plug it right in. Um, let's look at the book or the uh, instructions. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You just essentially plug it in. <clears throat> All right. Well, the first step is going to be going up in the attic. All right. I've looked at the pieces. Um, I'm going to show you where we've got to go <clears throat> in the front of the house. Been a while since I've actually looked up there. So let's go and look. All right, so you see the gable up there? We'll be mounting it inside that so the air will blow out. And then the solar panel will be mounted on that porch roof, the flat, flat roof just below it. Ooh, it's hot in the sun. And not looking forward to going over that roof. Let's look how the solar panel mounts. 
<clears throat> equally important to how this will mount is how the solar panel will mount to the roof. Is this the hardware? Looks like it. Yep. Okay. So what, we, what have we got here? I assume we got four of these. Yep. Okay. So I should probably install these first. Um, these Z brackets will mount like that or possibly like that. They only gave us four. Wish they gave us more. It is hurricane territory anyway. So um, I'm gonna mount these brackets first and then you know we're gonna use these uh, roofing screws probably to mount into the porch roof. Um, I don't wanna have to go up there twice. So we're gonna do the fan first, but here's a thought. Let's test this thing. It should be pretty straightforward. I should be able to just plug it in. And um, it's, you know, it's Florida. It's sunny and it's hot. And if I just plug it in, it's gonna work. So let me do that. I'll be right back. It's so weird. We've got Two wires go into the switch, two wires go into the panel, and two wires come out. So if I were to wire this to there, there's no way to wire that. So they must mean that only one wire goes into the switch. Maybe black and red. Here in the sun, but we're not playing. Oh, oh, starting to move. There it goes. Please don't hope it does that. Okay, I've got my stuff. This is actually how you get into the attic here. Um, it's in the upstairs bathroom. You gotta ring a ladder. And uh, I got my stuff. I got a backpack on. So uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off because it's always tricky getting up there because you can't get a much bigger ladder in here and you gotta kind of uh, lift yourself into that. It's gonna be hot up there. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna have to make multiple trips. I have done this before. I kinda know what to expect. Flip this thing up. Oh geez, I can feel the heat. You gotta figure, if it's 95 outside, which it is, it's probably 110 to 120 up there. So I've got a limited amount of time to do this. Before I'm going to overheat. It's always a problem. So how do you get up here? You gotta go on the top of the ladder and hoist yourself up. I'll show you how, but I'm not gonna do it because I gotta take the camera with me. But you essentially go up here and then you just hoist yourself up. Okay, I'm up. Unfortunately, there are no electrical outlets up here. If you've ever wondered what the attic of a 120-year-old house looked like, this is it. 
Look at this monster AC unit, inconveniently placed. But you see there's a couple of boards that run across. I've got to go all the way down to the end, way back there. Um, I'm going to try to make it in one trip with the camera and the tools. I don't know if I have all the tools I need. Let's hope. Let's go. If I can stand up. You got to be careful because there's pipes running under this flooring. See that pipe right by my foot? Right there. And on top of that, If you uh, step in the wrong place, you could very easily go through a pipe or through the ceiling. So I see this board. Jeez. It's not easy, and I see that. It's insane. Absolutely. boards to step on and they just end so you gotta be real careful I don't know all right I gotta put stuff down so I gotta crawl under these pipes remember I said this wasn't gonna be easy just getting in here board under me. Uh, it does not feel like there's a board there. There's one here. And I put the camera down again. The insulation is quite thick. That is not a board. It looks like at one point, many moons ago, well, there's a board that's loose, um, there was some sort of a fan installed up here okay all right i'm about where i need to be okay all right so here's what i got possibly i could mount it to this on either side Possibly. Boy, it's hot up here. Alright, well, in theory, you should be able to see something. I just don't know what you can see. Alright, so my plan is to mount to one of these corners. Probably that corner right there. Let's see, take the fan. See if there's two places I can mount. Yep. Okay, should be able to get to that. Okay, um, let me get over there. I've got everything set up. Ramp quarters, 120 degrees. That's what we live in Florida for. That's good. That's almost good right there. I could grab it, grab it. You can get three in. That's good enough for me.
far enough. Maybe not. Let's try here instead. here. Good thing the drill's got a little light on it. Battery is dying. Guess I should have checked that. Okay, we still recording here? I have no idea. It's so hot up here. I expect this to overheat at any minute. As it's already done twice. Alright, I got three holes, that's good. Good enough. Just a couple seconds to find it. All right, fan can spin freely. All right, we're drilled, we're mounted. So now, we gotta hope. We have enough wire. Are you still recording? I have no idea. Yep. Okay. Yep. I did bring some wire clippers. set up here. We gotta go up. We're just gonna go up through here I guess. Look while I'm at it I should do a better job attaching this screen since I've already had problems with bats. bag. Switch is on. You don't need that switch to be sitting right by the window either. Let's pack up and head back. All right. So now I've got to make it back. 
without the help of a light. So I'm going to pull the tripod up, shut the camera off, and head out. All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna cool off for a bit and then go to the uh, next sip. Well, it was literally so hot in that attic that 94 degrees out here feels cool. So it won't up when I get on the roof, of course, especially because I'll be dragging this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount these guys, these Z brackets first, before I get up there, save me some trouble. Washers with these things. I don't think I need all of these. Let me get a wrench. All right, ten millimeter bolts. And lock washer, and I guess that's what they want, and then the nut. All right, hurricane proof. Let me do the other three, and I'll be back. Okay, all four brackets are on. And I'm thinking about how I'm going to get this, drag this thing up that roof. It seems like, you know, you'd think, oh, that's no problem. Well, yeah, that would be no problem. But that is so steep. If you've seen the one where I have to go up to rescue the bats in, that are stuck in the chimney, um, the reason why you'll see there's a rope. I tied that rope there just to help you because, you know, you'll slide right off that roof without something to hold on to. So I have to go up ladder right there go up over this side come back down there and on that flat roof is where I'm gonna mount this thing so I think I'll keep this in the box and drag the box I'll probably tie a rope around the box I literally have to crawl um, not even crawl on hands and knees I gotta uh, crawl on my belly to get up that roof it's gonna be hot uh, those tiles are gonna be really hot right now but uh hey <clears throat> No time like the present, so. <laughs> it's a hot job, but I've been putting it off for a long time, so let's get busy. Let me get some rope. We're ready to go up, so I got gloves, I got a bottle of ice, which I will be bringing up there with me, just in case you get overheated, because it's a, it's an arduous journey, it really is. I would say watch my bat video and see. So, you may wonder, I have long sleeves on, because that roof up there is so hot that you need to wear gloves and long sleeves, or else you are gonna get scorched. So I've got my rope, it's inside tied around one bracket on that. I should be able to drag that across the roof along with the backpack, which I'll be wearing. So I'm not gonna be able to bring a tripod up there. So I'm just gonna have to, once I get up there, just show you what I'm doing. Um, I mean, I got a flat place to put the tripod. It's just that I can't carry all this stuff up there and one journey is enough. That is a tough roof to get up and across. All right, so I'll see you up there. I'm gonna go up this ladder, up over that roof there, bring the ladder with me, go up right above that window, climb all the way up to the peak, and then all the way down. You can't go across the side, it's just so steep, and that's a drop that you don't wanna do. So climbing up and then climbing down is actually your best route. 
So, um, I'll see you up there. I have reached the peak. So I give you a little bird's eye view. Here's a wonderful carport we've been doing. He's got to get down there. Getting down is easy when you've got a flat roof to land on. This box on a string, greatest idea I came up with. What a lifesaver. This fan is pretty heavy when you're dragging it. All right, so my goal, slide down here, get on that roof, drill this thing in, plug it in, and then come back up. Well, I suppose I should show you a close-up of these. Um, this, this fan actually comes with a bracket to set it up as an angle, but as you can see, there's no obstructions here. The sun's right on it. Okay. Well, there's a thunderstorm rolling in. So there's no sun right now. Um, and apparently there's not enough light. This thing's not powerful enough to kick the fan on. I hope. I think I left the switch on as I recall doing that. One thing I forgot was to bring tie downs for the cabling. And some liquid electrical tape for these goofball connectors that they have on that. Um, but it is hooked up and you can see the fan's not moving. Um, but anyway, it is not going anywhere. So um, I guess the next step is to go back down and get some uh, cable tie downs for these to hold this in place. Cause man, the hurricane winds up here in a storm, like even maybe the one we've got coming now are pretty severe. <clears throat> but I won't be dragging the box with this. I already threw the box down so uh, if I can get up and down again and beat the storm great if not I'm gonna have to just wait all right so yeah you can hear the thunder it's coming I don't think I'm gonna be able to tie this stuff down today well at least not for the next two hours so maybe later today I can come back up um, but anyway I'll be back at least it's mounted I, I wish the fan had kicked on immediately but you know, one thing I got is it's not as hot up here because the sun's under cloud cover. So I better get down before the lightning hits. I'll be back. Whew, I just made it down and it's starting to rain. So I'm going to go back up later. The storm usually an hour or so it'll be past. So it gives me time to cool off. I'll find some brackets to secure the cables down and then back up for one more trip. And hopefully this fan's running. I certainly hope so. It's a lot of work. I'll see you soon. Well, got off the roof just in time. Only took another two minutes. When this clears up and the sun's back out, hopefully that fan kicks on, we'll see. All right, well, that thunderstorm yesterday uh, ended up lasting quite a few hours. So uh, it's nice and sunny today. So I'm going up. I'm going to secure the cables down. The fan's running. It's running strong. So all I've got to do now is get up on the roof and secure the cables, and then we'll uh, wrap this up. Right, Muggsy? Muggsy doesn't want me to go on the roof.
All right, everything survived the storms yesterday. You can see here, the fan is cranking, but you know what's funny? Listen to this. If I so much as lean on that solar panel a little bit, it cuts off. So that's why yesterday when there was clouds, it wouldn't work. Very weird. Um, obviously, it's not a very strong solar panel. It looks looks like it should be, but not quite. So I've got to tie these cables down. I got two methods. I brought these plates, and I also got some of these. All right, here's my two options. I get these little. Uh, they're actually for hooks or these plates. Um, I was going to use the plates, but these hooks actually are going to work in some spots. So let me drill a couple holes. I'm going to use these bolts, these roofing screws with the gaskets on them to seal it up. Uh, and uh, let me get to it. I'll be back. All right, I've got one in. It's actually so hot up here, I'm kneeling down on the gloves. Um, have two more could have probably used uh, six of them but such is life I could use the plates up there since there's double sets of wires all right let me get these others in and then I'm heading back down it is hot up here all right this is that goofy connector that clearly was made for something else and they just include it for this I'm not a big fan of any of these connections so I'm gonna use my friend see the cloud just went overhead hear the fan slow down jeez that's kind of crazy well, I'm gonna use my friend liquid electrical tape and seal up all around these sun's back out and the fans back on this stuff is really cool it'll dry very quickly here because it's so freaking hot up here this will help hold everything together as well and keep water from getting in these cheap connectors that they put on here. Right. Uh, let's put some here as well. Okay. I think it's almost dry already. stuff out of the sun up here it'll dry on its own all right i'm gonna put one more bracket down maybe two to hold the cables down and then thankfully i can go i'm gonna wrap these together with electrical tape and tie wraps so i'll pick up at that point i'll be back all right decided to use tie wraps to hold that together instead of electrical tape Jeez. Um, but right. my backpack, put my gloves on, and the last view. I think I've got everything from up here. The last view. Of my beautiful neighborhood in my yard. The fan is cranking, but boy, any shade at all and it drops it. So I'm gonna climb back down. This was a $200 project. This is an extremely difficult roof to get up on, but it seems to be working. I mean, time will tell if the uh, attic gets any cooler, but um, hopefully so. And uh, hey, if you wanna do a project like this, I'll put a link to this fan. It seems pretty good for 200 bucks. Uh, it's a little sensitive. The sun has to be blaring or else it doesn't come on, which is disconcerting, but I guess that's okay. It's Florida, but if you want to take on something like this, I just showed you how to do it. Don't be intimidated. Just go out, get busy. Take care.